Tracy Adventures, a day at the carnival. Time for corn dogs. It's lunchtime and Tracy is getting hungry. She heads over to the corn dog vendor and puts in an order. One corn dog, please. Coming right up. As she waits for her lunch, she wonders how anyone could be scared of clowns. The one she just saw was so friendly. Order up. The vendor pulls Tracy from her daydream with a corn dog in her hand. Tracy hears her stomach rumble and can't wait to devour it. Before Tracy can eat her corn dog, we need to learn about functions, which we can use to help Tracy with her corn dog lunch. Functions are very helpful in our programs. They let us run multiple lines of code using a single command. Functions must be defined, which tells which commands will be run when we call them. Once they have a definition, we can call the function using the function name and a set of parentheses. We're just going to focus on the calling part right now, but we will revisit function definitions a bit later. The important thing to notice is that to call a function, we just write the name of the function, which will match the name in the definition, and then use a set of parentheses. Let's learn one more command before we help Tracy with her corn dog. To bring some color into Tracy's world, we use the color command. Simply type the word color and then a color name in quotation marks inside parentheses. Tracy and her trail will change to that color for all future commands. We've already seen Tracy draw purple lines on her carnival map and a red nose on the clown, and now you'll be able to use any color you want in your Tracy programs. Now let's get some lunch. <laughs>